Recording is on. So, Stackademic, here we are with our another one of our Pawn Fridays, and today will be dedicated to a whole challenge we will be having, and you know we will challenge each other. So let's stop with the chit chat and dive directly immediately into the chat. Can you can you see me, guys? Sunil, oh sorry, I'm sorry. Because can you hear me or see me, Sunil? Uh, yeah. Also, because sure. I, I saw you stopped, and I thought my connection went down. Ah uh, no, sorry, I was just uh, uh, replying to a message. Um, okay. okay, so I'm going to. Uh, so I don't have everyone follows me on settings. Uh, well, if you create a game, and then can you share the link into the chat? No, I'm talking about uh, sharing my screen. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Do you want to see what happens? Uh, I mean, uh, sure, if, if you want. Uh, Let me try. Okay, guys, please tell me if you see my screen now. And I, there, you should be seeing the code coding game. Um, code, yes. Yeah, you can see that properly. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Now you should see some infinite thing. That's okay. So, okay, Sunil, if you agree, I will make first a simulation between me and you and mm -hmm. then we show this and then we will let students participate okay sure so a uh, coding game basically has this super cool uh, uh, uh let's say mode where you can make a clash of code which is basically a challenge to in our case who can solve a puzzle a coding puzzle the fastest so the language allowed would be javascript and because of course we are using that and I will create a clash of code. I am Yoshi here. I will invite Sunil, but I can send you the link here. So please, only Sunil, join. I sent you the link on uh, oh, the, okay. the chat. Yeah, because I guess when you use invite, I don't know where that invite gets. Um, let's see. Okay. So I'm going to show. I'm going to show you just how this works quickly and give you a quick overview of the editor so you can then participate. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to launch the Clash. Oh, we all also have... Okay, so uh. <laughs> Ibrahim and Arturan, if you want to join, uh, you join the, the, um, the Clash, join the class only if you want to participate. Uh, this is kind of a simulation game, so uh, leave it just for now, and then you will be able to join for the next clash. We're just going to have a two, three minutes tutorial for the editor, and then we will we will let other people join. Well, I mean, if, if they want to play, it's not a big deal. They oh, okay. can do, so. Let's just launch it anyway. Who cares? You're right. Okay, so this is a timer. And so how does this work basically? Okay, so you have to pass the maximum number of tests as fast as possible. What does, what does the coding game mean with tests? So basically you can see here, I have 15 minutes to solve a problem. I have my code editor here on the right, and here is the problem. So given a line of alphabetic characters, extract all the uppercase characters to print them on the first line, then extract all the lowercase characters to print them on the second. So basically, the input will be like a line of text. And, and then I got, uh, for example, this. You see, the program inputs, because you see, the program is inputting automatically some, some data that we have to work uh, through. So for example, in, the input store in T, in this case, because remember, when you're working with this kind of challenges tools, you will always have a kind of, you know, tool kind of instruction that we read the input for you. So in our case, input gets stored here. So don't delete this line. And then here, write an answer using console log. So for example, here, the problem is if we get kind of this input, I got to extract all the character, all the, I got to use two console logs. The first one will print the uppercase characters and the second one will print the lowercase ones. So I guess that's a pretty straightforward problem and really it should take five or six minutes. Of course, modify this. And once you're done, you have to play play all test cases. Sunil, do you know how to detect if a character is, a, is, is uppercase? 
Uh, yeah, it should be. Um, is that uppercase? Is it two uppercase or two lowercase? No, but that's to convert it. Sorry, what? Say that again, then. How to detect in JavaScript if if a if a, if a character is uppercase or not? Um, well, uh, uh, I'm not too sure off the top of my head. I uh, I guess you could take the character, convert it to uppercase as a new variable, and, and check if it's it. different. Yes. Yeah. That's an approach. I it, there is, it, you're not cheating if you just search like how to check if. A character is uppercase in JavaScript. It's search it. I invite you to do that because you're going to learn something new. So I guess if that was clear to you how you can solve these kind of problems, we could start. Is upper? Let me check that. Is upper? Yeah. So, are you are you okay to start now, guys? You can see there are multiple. Me Sunil Hafiz, are you okay to start? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna close coding game. I'm gonna reopen it. Why this clash of code? Okay. So everybody, I'm going to send you a link to create the, the clash, to to join the clash. Sorry. Uh, here it is. So just join. Okay, there it is. Stacca Luigi. That's such a great name. It's amazing. Uh, I also love the. Oh, I, <laughs> this is so lovely. Sunil, please join and see the, all our characters. <laughs> oh, is this another one? Sorry. Uh... Stakagumba. Uh, Arturan, when you can, please choose an avatar of a Super Mario character, because this is so funny. Oh, I need a couple. Oh, Wario Dev. I love that. We're already, I'm surprised, we're already six participants and seven actually, including Sunil. So that's great. Afitz, are you joining in? Fine. I don't have time to change the character, the avatar name, so I'll just go in as that for now. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying names, but they are saying uh, it, it is saying that it is not available. The nickname is not available. Please select another name. Oh my god. Okay. Um, okay. So when you want, we can start. If did everybody. Yeah. Arutan is wondering how to choose an avatar. How to choose? I guess you yeah, have on, your on your profile here, settings or profile, and you should be able to see the avatar. Yeah, and but then if you hover yeah, over, yeah, you change picture. picture. You gotta go on profile. Don't watch my my, my stupid cover. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm in now. Sue Pierre. So Sunil and Piero. <laughs> who, who is this character from Super Mario? I never seen this. Uh, is it Toadette? The, the... Pro oh, probably. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to quickly change my character's avatar. Um, the computer's going so slow. Um, it doesn't really matter if you don't have the avatar, it's okay. So it says, do you really want to leave this clash? No. No, no, just, I will launch the clash since I'm the admin as soon as I have the, con oh. As soon as I have the confirmation that we're all in. Sunil, are you ready? Uh, oh, where's it gone? I had the picture a second. Oh, fine. Okay, it's not going to let me. Um, 
I, I'm in. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Okay, so let's start. Four, three, two, one. Let's do it. So, okay, let's see the problem. You're given a string of characters. How to put the sum of the ashy value for each character of the string? Oof. Oh, well, this is a fun one for people, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> has to check the ashy values now, ASCII values. Um, oh, this is hard, actually. <laughs> I've never done something like converting to Ashi. No, me neither. Let me see. So a new string of character output the sum of the Ashi value. Let me try this in the console. What if I do? Okay, I got a, a possible solution. I mean, so you can also see my screen, so you know what I'm doing. So you know. Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not watching you anyway. Don't worry. No, but it's okay. It's, it's, I don't take that so seriously. <laughs> I think I've got a solution. It's just I have to write it now. Um, and uh, I think this is quite difficult for people who maybe haven't like don't know any kind of string methods or array methods or anything like that. I don't know. I mean. Let me print that. I did it. Okay, so guys, let's end this. Let's uh, when, when the game will end, I will. I will. We will see some solution, and we will see, compare them. And um, you know, just check it. So in the meantime, yes, we will do a run through. Commercial call in JavaScript. Embrace this philosophy on level sharing. Who is this character, this little flying turtle from Super Mario? Sunil, how is it going? Uh, I think I've just gone with the wrong thing. Oh, wait, do I need to put a thing in there? If you want to share your screen now, it's it's okay. Or otherwise, I will I will just in the meantime wait here because I can see the the when the time. Unfortunately, you can't see people coding real time, and that's a pity, right? When you're done with the clash. Let me submit. Let me 
answer. Sorry, if I am using my phone, I got contacted one second to sort you do a thing. Let me just stop my webcam for a second. I need to I need to remember to do something with my for my on my computer on my um, company computer. I'm gonna also stop sharing the screen because I don't want you guys to see a hundred of this. The bash, you got it. Great. Let me see if I can check his code from. No, I still can't. I think you have to do. Okay. Oh, silly me. Wondering why that wasn't working. I had the solution, like I knew the solution from the start, and I had a friggin' typo in my code. Um all right, okay, so well, you did a typo? Yeah, and it was confusing me for ages. Sorry if I if I ruined my my screen, guys. I was, um, oh, I'm fixing a thing one moment on my computer. Oh, who's knocking at the door? You can hear someone speaking Italian right now. Oh, that's cool. No, he speaks some Italian. Sì, sì, sì. Neil. Hey. That was amazing. We heard you speaking in Italian. Oh, right. <laughs> sorry. I, put, I yeah, I couldn't read. I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, some people came knocking at the door because they want. I think there's a problem with the uh, the bar beneath the apartment, and um, yeah, they keep coming to check something. It's really frustrating. Um, okay, so I never even actually, I think people are still going, so let me try and finish this thing. Um, I'm really confused as to why this isn't working now. Just add the numbers up. Who solved the solution for now? Why did that not, why did that reduce not work? Let me try that again. Hafiz, how is it going? 
Yeah, I'm trying to search <laughs> search it on Google, but no, I, I have no idea how it is done. I've, what have I got the wrong way around? Is it that? I always get confused when I try to use reduce. how long before the clash ends three minutes so we got all oh, sorts to run completely that's great <clears throat> oh it's close wait it's not going to work now that's really confusing me Oh, that's frustrating. I had it. I had it correct like five minutes ago, but I had two console logs um, on the screen, and it kept just showing me the first one and not the second one. I was, I was like, why is that reduce not working? Never mind. It's done now anyway. You can see that the frustration of doing this job. Yeah, just like sometimes you you know like you know what the issue is as well, but for some reason you just can't get it to work. Um. So, and um, Ursula is also clashing. Ibrahim, how is it going, Ibrahim, for you? Oh wait, have I not submitted it? You not submitted oh. it? Oh yeah, you have, you have. Oh, I, I have now. Yeah, so I just I, I, I ran the test, so I forgot to submit. By the way, if some of you, oh, what was that noise? If some of you are asking themselves why uh, my name is Flynn on Cody Game, is because when I created this account many years ago, I had just seen the movie Tron Legacy, which is one of my favorites, and the main character is so called Flynn, and I like the idea of you know. It's kind of a movie related to computer worlds. So I like that idea. I've always been kind of nerdy in this sense. Is it right that S is equal to 83 in ASCII and N is equal to 78? Uh, probably, that sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds right. I'm guessing T is 84 and so on. Okay. I love that Afit is joining this with the webcam. How on earth am I going to... Sunil, do you want to share the screen for the next clash? Uh, can do if you want. I don't, I'm, I, I'm as you prefer, first. or I can do that. It's okay for me. Um, yeah, I, 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 can, I can share the screen if you want. The Ashi code. Okay, so one minute to go, God. no, 30 seconds. 30 seconds before the clash start. And then here comes the most interesting part. And since you saw my screen being shared, I will show you. Is it a uh, multiplication? Like 78 multiply 78. Can you see my screen, everybody? Nine. Can you see Clash of Code again correctly? Uh, yep. OK, perfect. So nine seconds, eight. I really love the icon that I have here. Stacca Luigi. I love the, that Stacca Luigi 
has the Luigi on, on the cart. Let so, me see if it'll let me change mine in the meantime. The clash is over. Did, did you mm -hmm. see that being updated? Yeah. So can you see my screen, Sunil? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can view the code of, I don't know why I can't see your code, Sunil. I thought you can, does it not let you look at everybody's or is it only I when it finishes? I can say, oh, you gotta do share my code. Ah, okay. Um, so ah, let's, yeah, com okay. let's compare some solutions. Okay, so if you want, I can show you my solution first because you know I'm skilled in that just because I wrote it. So my solution was like pretty easy. Um, basically, the process that I used to come up with the solution was uh, yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong with searching things, so I just search. I I knew that I didn't want to write an ASCII table here and convert and you know just like like an array that was going to help me. I wanted to know if there was a method to convert from a uh, character to a ASCII code, and so I just I just search for that how to convert to ASCII in JavaScript because mainly that's what you do in your job really and I found this char code at so I tested it and I did something like b dot char code at and you can see that it gives me this value so I knew that basically I was done now because now the only thing that I have to do is iterate through the string and strings in JavaScript are like arrays you can iterate through each character of the string so I created a loop you can see that s dot length and for every character I, I add that it's ashy version, it's ashy correspondent to sum, and eventually I print the result. I can share your code to Neil, and you can tell me, like, you can... Uh... Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, initially I was going to do the exact same thing that you had with, with just using a zero and adding to it. And then as I was going through it, for some reason, because I had a typo, it was not adding the numbers together. So I thought, okay, I've probably made a mistake here. So I'm just going to push these values into the array instead. Uh, and then uh, on line 13, uh, I just, yeah, reduced that and, and console log the output. You will see what the reduce method does, everybody. But basically to summarize line number 13, what Sunil is doing is adding the value inside of the array called bell. So that's also a very smart solution. I'm curious to see Devesh. Oh, and so he did the same thing as I did. I can see that he split the, the, the string, however, and that was not necessary, Devesh, because a string can already be iterated like an array. So he used a method from the string that basically, uh, so basically, I guess he didn't want to count in uh, white spaces. Do you agree on that, Sunil? Um, well, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that it's 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 the first part of what you said. So, um, Devesh may be overlooked in that moment that you could iterate through a string and therefore turned it into an array of individual characters to iterate through. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. So, we don't have any other code to be shared. Art to run, if you want, you can share it. Or... Yeah, exa exactly. So it's to be fair, Devesh, that happens to me all the time as well. E even after so many years, I, I still sometimes forget that a string can just be iterated through uh, with each character. Let me stop sharing my screen for now. And guys, Sunil, do you want to share for a second clash? Afitz, do you want to participate in a second clash? Um... Yes, I can. I can. I, I will try to uh find a find a solution but yeah but it's okay we're not shaming anybody it's just i learned something from sunil now uh, about that approach and he learned something from me it was just fun i'm sending you the link here we agree on that sunil uh yeah like it's it's just a bit it's just a bit of fun um so it's just to be honest just always be in a positive mindset of learning from other people. Don't feel the competition because in the end, the competition is only related to your own skills. You only have to outwork yourself, not others. I've shared the wrong, I need to share the new screen. I learned a lot. Thanks, I'm grateful that you were enjoying that, Ibrahim. Stack Goomba, mm -hmm. who is Stack Goomba? Actually, I forgot. It should be, hopefully I've got a different thing now. Oh, there we go, yeah. 
Oh, it's there. Azaia, are you enjoying the challenge? Yes, yes, I am. I had to get away for a bit, but I just came back. I may have missed a little bit, but catch no, it's up. okay. <laughs> Christy, are you enjoying the, the, the challenge? I'm asking, I'm picking like random names right now. Don't I don't have preferences again. <laughs> so we are four now, okay? So is anybody else going to join? Otherwise, I think you can launch the clash. Oh, Arturan. Ah. I gotta take a screenshot. I love that. I think that Hafiz takes screenshot of me or Sunil while doing lesson. That's something that I love, Hafiz. The only thing is that I always appear like a, a, a dumbass because I'm always in the worst pose. <laughs> I'm always in. Uh, I actually sent Sunil a pose from a, a, a like a, a picture that was taken of me. It was not done by you. It was done automatically by Dropbox. It was so terrible. I, I will send that to you later. It was so terrible. Wait, was that the one I, I was that the screenshot yeah. you were in? And I, and it, then it, I was, cropped it, it and sent it, it to you. It was me like this. It, it looked like I was on the toilet, to be honest. <laughs> it was so terrible. I... Let's start. Yeah. Chrissy, it's okay. I'm sure everyone came out fine in the screenshots you took. <laughs> Let, no, it's okay, all super. But I, I saw a tweet from Christy and also my face was terrible. So I actually asked myself, do I look that bad on video? <laughs> so let's launch the clash if you agree, everybody. Go for it. Three, two, one, go. Where is the noise? There it is. Oh, so slow. Okay. Right. So your program must print n times a given word on separate lines. Okay. So we have an integer and a word. Okay. So n lines containing w. So if the input is two, then the output should say hello, hello. If the input is five, then it should say hello five times. Okay. Um, so that should be fairly that's, straightforward. That's, that's pretty more like a lot more straightforward than the earlier one. Uh, so um, I feel like I know the answer, but I'm trying to think of the like what's the most optimal way to do it. I'm not really too fussed about the speed, even though this is a fast one. Um, I completed it because you know I'm not I'm not sharing my screen, so I didn't show any process. Oh yeah, that's a good call. Okay, so if okay, so if so, should the output appear on a new line, or does it have to be? Um, does it have to be? No, well, surely it would be separate console logs, would it? Or is it? No, you look normal. Let's try. Let's try it. Oh, on the tweet, I guess. I. Uh... <laughs> Let's do let i equals zero. Why do you why do you have dark mode and I don't? Uh, for what? The com oh, it's um, I don't know actually. Um, it was just whatever mode. Go Devesh. Shows. Devesh is killing it today. Uh, okay, so big up to Devesh. Equals what is it? N dot length. Let's see if this works. Um, so. If anybody has any idea what I'm doing, feel free to talk about it. I'm curious to know if people kind of are like able to follow yeah, along. I, I well, the screen's really small, is it? Can anybody even see that screen? Do no, I, it's, it's perfect. I can see it perfectly. Oh, no, gosh, this massive. is too much. This is too oh, really? Much. Yeah, as you had it for first, yeah, this is perfect. Okay, cool. So I'm curious to know if this works. What if I just did console log? You. you can see that this is actually Visual Studio Code being in the browser. Wait, I nothing will, expected hello. What are you I talking will, about? I will give you a... Found... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, that should work. You should just console out. I got it. I know why it's not working. I'm curious. Why is that? Is it because... It, surely it's not because of return. 
No, it's 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 because do you want me to, to tell you or you want the students to get it? Oh wait a minute. No, oh, I'm an idiot. Correct, yes. No, no, not not you're an idiot. Yes, that was the, the... I'm an idiot. I'm <laughs> no. calling myself an idiot. It's no, fine. I said that in the wrong moment. You said I'm an idiot, but I meant yes, that was the... <laughs> 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 Don't insult your stuff. <laughs> Hey, okay, well, you know, it's, uh, yeah, oh, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Are you tired, Sunil? Uh, well, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I'm, um, I'm, uh, I'm packing my stuff, aren't I? So I want to eat pizza tonight. In the process of moving. I want to eat pizza. What time is it over there? It's, uh, to me here, it's uh, uh, 5.53. PM Milan. I'm, I don't want to eat pizza now. It's too. It's too early. But <laughs> I'm gonna eat pizza in a couple hours. So okay. So I think I would like to see Ibrahim and the Vesh solutions. Would okay. you like to uh, to to show them to other people? We're waiting for anybody else. Um, okay. So this was yep. super straightforward as a solution. Everybody. Let's take. So let's you can take see it. that some problems are harder, others are not. So. Feel free to join, you know, if, if you want, if you change your mind at this point. Uh, yeah, okay. this one was uh, easier than the last one. Okay, so Ib, whilst we've got you, why don't you um, talk through your solution? Uh, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can hear you properly. Yeah, so I, I was just thinking that, you know, from the last one we did, it was just a matter of iteration based on just a number. So I was like, okay, we just we can just use a for loop for this. So uh, it would loop uh, based on the time, uh, based on n times. So say the first one was hello twice, so n was two. So it would iterate twice in this case and console log that many times. Cool. One thing to yeah. note, guys, a lot of the problems that you will find on this platform are so similar to ones that you find on Code Chef, and also the ones that you find in coding interviews, because they make use of the same three or four entities in the JavaScript language. So arrays, working with strings, and you know conditions, this kind of things. I, I find that especially arrays and strings are super used in this kind of problems and coding interviews. So let's have a look. So Ruthran says, instead of i less than n, I did i less than n plus 1. I just entered n. Because n is it was the number, you know? Yeah, yeah. So for me, I did that like that. Cool. And um, One well, thing to note, guys, when you're working with this platform, you can try to submit your solution first to see how if it's working. You know, if it pa if all the tests passes, great. If some of them not, you have to trim it. But that's like how you kind of test it. Uh, so by the looks of it, everybody had the exact same solution. My dream is having all like our students joining a clash here. How cool would that be? Yeah, that would be amazing. Sunil, do you want to do another one? How is how are you with time? Uh, I'm okay. We can do another okay. one if you want. Yeah, let's do another or a couple ones. So we keep this fun. Uh, do you want me to share my screen now or do you want to keep sharing your? Uh, no, sure, you can go for it. Okay, so as, uh, close your record, your screen sharing. Oh, that smile. <laughs> when you stop sharing the screen, it was immediately like your face smiling. I love it, it was, it was so fun. I'm gonna send you the link everybody. Start. To be honest, there are also, can you see my screen? Yes. Uh, yes. There are also other mo modes that you can play here, but they're a little bit harder. But we can also play them further in the future when you will feel more confident. Okay, I'm waiting for players. Ibrahim. Is AI for artificial intelligence, Ibrahim? Yeah. You know, it's uh, like also like the first two letters of my last name. So I was like, okay, I can make it AI. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Plus, Ibrahim was taken, so I had to. <laughs> <guys>. <laughs> 
I thought that was an L, so I would have told you Ibrahim Al. Yeah, that's that's what my last name starts with Al, but I, you know, it's hard to tell the difference between a L and I. Uh, you know, exactly. Other uppercase, yeah. I want some chocolate. Who's joining in more? Uh, Arturan, or uh, are you joining? Stacca Goomba. Stacca Luigi. I'm inviting Stacca Luigi. I want Stacca Luigi. We, we, we should all put the Stackademic uh, Cobra image, you know? So people who challenge you know that you come from Stackademic. Ah. Uh. And that they are the best ones in the in, in circulation right now. Can you see the chat here? Mm -hmm. Is well, it just between us? I can see it, but I can't. I can only see it on your screen. I, I don't know where it is on mine. What the? Okay, so I guess nobody's joining anymore. Oh, Arthur, I'm joining. So, 10 seconds, I'm going to start the clash. They, they also, uh, I will show you something more about, about coding game later. Chantal wrote to me, like earlier, telling me that she loved the platform. Because you can also find a job using it, because they make like tournaments. Let's start. You have to, okay. You must find the sum of the mods. What's what's a mod of a list of number? Oh, the mod arithmetic. This is harder. I still have to understand this problem. How does it look to you, Sunil? Um, I'm just checking. Oh, I'm just console logging out certain values to see what they are first. Let me comment this so it's easier for me. I think I understood it. Done. Right. It's, it, it's, it's exactly the same problem that we faced when we solved the first one, to be honest. It's just, it's just there is a harder statement to understand. How is it going, Sunil? Um, I'm not too sure. I'm trying to... Uh...
Uh, in the meantime, guys, I will tell you some stories. Let me stop sharing my screen so you can I can watch the chat in the meantime. So, chat, you're feel free to share your thoughts about this in the yeah you know, in the chat, of course. See, I always wonder what's that monkey that is visible from your webcam. Is is it something related to Liverpool? Uh, the scarves are. Well, we spoke about the scarves before. Yeah, but the monkey is uh, is just a, is just a, a toy. Yeah, it's just a monkey. I also got a toy. I'm going to show you. It's my favorite one. It's this one. It's a little. Can you tell me, guys, what animal this is? It was a gift. No, it's not a lemur, as I yeah. <laughs> Is it not? It looks like no. one. No, it's look at the face. It's a slot. Oh, yeah. okay. Rachel, you got it. It's a it's a slot, exactly. And you can see also from the hands. What does what what did I see that, Christy? It's oh chivetta, like a, the Oh, do you mean this little? Oh, and I never seen this animal, the sea bat, African sea bat. What's that? Let me see the translation in Italian. Oh, I know what it's zibetto. It's called in Italian. That's a weird animal, Christy. I wonder how you know what a, a sea bat is. I've never seen one in my life. I knew the name, but I, I couldn't like set. I can basically say, okay, for this name, the animal is this. I'm put it here. Oh, I can already see our trunk code. Yeah, this is a very good solution art run. Um, I guess you could you could just have shortened it of one line. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I give up. I'm happy to just see your answers. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. How many more challenges? It depends. To be honest, I can still be here for like... 20 or 30 minutes, it depends on, on Sunil. Well, I mean, you're more than welcome to carry on without me. Yeah, if you want to do some more, guys, depends really on you. You can also give, uh, you can also rate the clash. You have to leave a fit. Yes, the recording will be available, correct, Sunil? Uh, yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you to you. I still have to check completely the code art to run for your quote machine. Their appearance is great. I was no, checking it before. Weekend. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Oh, sorry. Take but, care, Hafiz. Yeah. Yes, bye bye. Bye, Hafiz. I will, I will, I will make sure to check it whole, uh, Arthur. I promised. Because then, while checking the the lesson started, I hon I only had like a little ten minutes span from my work to the lesson, so it was it was quite killing me.
that's a quick transition. Yeah, Christy, just just the time to get a chocolate bar or something, and then I started. But I like it like that. I like to condense my days. Also because I like to uh, find some times for myself, especially when I don't have to work because I don't work on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, so tonight I will just rest and have fun. I'm trying to wake up earlier, to be honest. I'm trying. So, you know, what time do you wake up in the day? Um, like seven, maybe. Oh, so it's back. Seven? Yeah, I wake up a little bit early, later, like eight, eight and a half. Because I'm smart working, so I don't have to. Art run said, take a look at my ranking. You mean on the whole app? I wonder how you become first on this platform. They also are very, very hard. The, even Nintendo created their own puzzle here. Oh, really? Yes, some companies created it. And if you can solve it, you get a chance to talk with them, you know? Mm. They made sponsored contest. We can make a academic sponsored contest. But the puzzle can only be completed in C++. Probably the success rate is only 2%. Oh, wow. Probably they're, they're looking for, you know, somebody who can use it for a job. So guys, is everything okay with the clash? Do you want to stop it? Or do you want Ibrahim or you want, and the Vesh, or you want to keep clashing until the time is over? Yeah, even like Facebook, Electronic Arts, they made challenges on this game, on this song. They also have careers. Your rank, Artran, is, oh, it's, I guess it's 2,308,000. I really can't read that long number. You can see it if you're over on your profile. Bye, Isaiah. I'll take care, Isaiah. I think we will stop with this one clash because we have a, this takes time. So if we do one more, I think we will go over a lot of time. So in the meantime, I'm going to show you some more cool thing about this. Okay, so can you, you can see my screen, guys. Uh, let me also share my webcam. Uh, sorry. Here you go. So here, basically, you can see that on coding game, basically the point of the game is to learn how to code or practice by so by solving games. So for example, here, on the, um, you can see that you can select some problems. And for example, power of Tor, you have this cool problem that you have to solve with conditions. Um, you can say solve it, and you have the problem here. Let me modify the language. You have the problem here, and basically you have a whole game that will run once you solve the problem. So, and they're complex, more complex problems that, that give you a lot of satisfaction. So you can see you have practice, you can also, oh, you see, for like view all. I guess you can also create your own puzzle. So that's amazing. That's something so cool in my idea. You have sponsored puzzles. So you have one for from Nintendo, one from Anel, one from Coding Game itself. And then you have a very active community, Discord, forums, 
and even a get a job section. And you know, they kind of help you to find a job. So this is super interesting for me and just a free platform that I suggest you use. How long before the clash stops? One minute, let's wait with this more. Do you want to add something, Sunil? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all good. I'm just, uh, just doing some work in the background. Oh, it was a tiring, tiring day. How was the recap with the lesson? How did it go? Uh, yeah, it was fine. Um, we just went through uh, hoisting, scope, and this. Um, uh, yeah, it was fine. Pardon me, guys, if I didn't re-record the lesson yesterday, but I had kind of the worst week so at my job because it was a lot of you know hard work and so at the end of the day i was doomed yesterday i just said okay i'm, I'm done um luckily uh, there was sunil so a, a round of applause for him and thank you so much to him for helping me with that mm. it's so no big, it's no big deal don't worry about it uh, but don't worry about my Christy or tear about my week. It was not. It was. It was okay. It's just that with every job that you go through, uh, you will have some weeks that are harder. And for web development, that's especially true when you have a deadline. So if you gotta commit to say, okay, this is ready by the end of this day, you gotta code like fire. Don't think that this is something you can escape. Every job has this this thing. Um, I learned this concept by. The king and my father, he works with dogs now, but earlier in his life, he was a chef. And so like for, for a new year event or Christmas, he would come back late because he would have to work. Or, you know, when other people have fun, you're working. So that's something that really stick with me. The, the, the fact of every job has its own problems, but that's, that's okay. It's just like how love goes. So, I'm going to show you my screen to comment the last bit of code. Open my webcam. And okay, so Ibrahim, uh, okay, so let's see our to run code. So, yes, this is basically uh, like similar to my solution, it's basically equal. So, the problem was a lot easier than uh, the statement would have let you thought. Basically, it said, okay, so I give you one number M. I then read these numbers, every number is stored inside of E, and you got to give me the sum of E uh, mod M. So basically, it's you can see how the same pattern is repeating and repeating. And that's, you know, so it was pretty not, not straightforward in the in the statement. I didn't know why it was so complicated in that, but the solution then eventually was straightforward. So. Props to you, Art Run. I don't know what sec 16% completed means. Let me see. I just put a sad face. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> and so my solution is equal to the one of Art Run. I just made the, I just used the plus equal operator to keep it shorter. So for me, Okay, so for me, like, I hope you had fun with this lesson. I really, like, enjoyed it because, you know, there was no shame at all in participating. So it was it was very fun to me. And it was one of those lessons that I was looking up to do because this is how you practice. And I want to, wanted to introduce you to this amazing platform, which I think is, is great. So I hope that as time goes on, more of you will feel like, okay, I want to join, especially now that you have seen how this goes and how fun this can be. We don't have to record necessarily the session. It's okay if one day, maybe on a Saturday or in the night or in the evening, you say, hey, who's down for a clash? I actually invite you to do that with fellow students. Just register and tell people, hey, who's down for a clash? Here's the link. So that would be very fun. And I will make sure to catch it up if I can. And I see the link in the Discord. So I hope that was fun for you. Uh, one thing to note, next week, 
I won't do any lessons about JavaScript. I would like to give you one week of rest before we go on with the last three to four sections. And I will give you some homeworks to do. I will send you links during the days because uh, I would like you to keep practicing with these problems. Uh, you know, like iteration, really get the hang on it. So working with strings. And in the meantime, if you feel like you want to build your own project and send it to me, like Arturan did and many other of you did, feel free to do that. I will take this time of the week to uh, also review them. So hope that sounds good to you. And I hope you had fun, everybody. I will wait for the chat feedback. Thank you so much to all of you for participating. Cyril, I think you can stop the recording now. Cool.